Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that looks to answer exactly those. So thank you to all of you who watched our first videos, Are Aliens Real?, and who was really behind the 9-11 attack. If you want the answers to those questions, you can check out those videos after this one. This is a new channel, so if you like the content of our videos, please help us out by subscribing. I'm Rebecca Felgate, and today we are going to answer the ever debated question as to what came first, the chicken or the egg. Stay tuned because we have an answer for you. For centuries and perhaps even millennia, people have been debating the origins of our living beings on Earth. Back in 3000 BC, Aristotle himself was pondering where the first chicken came from. From expanding scientific discovery, we have been able to trace back evolution through the ages, answering many of our questions as to where exactly we came from and when. Whoa! By studying evolution patterns, we have been able to trace humans back to apes, adapting and evolving over millions of years from apes to Neanderthals to Homo sapiens, eventually becoming the species we know today. Evolution occurs when there is a change in genetic material, or DNA, causing a cell to mutate and create a slightly different species than that had come before. Now, this is important, you need to remember that as this is crucial in answering our question. Many scientists believe that it was this process of mutation that led to the first ever chicken. Bird like animals that bore some similarities to chickens we know today laid an egg containing an offspring with a cell mutation, producing what we now know as the chicken. Beyond that, there is also evidence to suggest that dinosaurs were laying eggs long before any bird like creature evolved, meaning the egg must have come first, with what was hatched from them developing over the years, creating more egg laying species. Ok, so this has to mean that the egg came first. Or does it? In 2010, scientists from Sheffield and Warwick Universities in England used a Scottish based computer called Hector to zoom in, so to speak, in order to study the formation of an eggshell. What they found was that the egg contained QC17, a protein found only in the ovaries of hens, <coughs> which speeds up egg formation to create the unique chicken. The protein is what converts calcium carbonate into crystals, which form the shell. Other animals do possess the crystals, but chickens develop them at a quicker rate than any other animal, making 6 grams of shell every 24 hours. Dr. Colin Freeman from Sheffield University's Department of Engineering Materials said, It had long been suspected that the egg came first, but we now have the scientific proof that the chicken came first. Interesting indeed, but not totally correct given what we already know. Of course, it is possible to say that these proteins only exist in chickens today, but who is to say that other birds millions of years ago before the first chicken did not also contain the same proteins? Those birds, having laid the first chicken, could have died out in favour of the better adapted species. We just don't know. So this leads us to our next point. When deliberating what came first, the chicken or the egg, we must also consider what exactly it is we are calling a chicken and what exactly defines a chicken egg. This is something that is expertly touched on by ASAP Science. Let's call the species that came before the chicken the pre-chicken. The pre-chicken would have laid an egg with a chick containing a cell mutation, hatching to produce the very first chicken. The pre-chicken was not a chicken as we know it, meaning that the egg came before our very first chicken. But then, would we call an egg laid by a pre chicken a chicken egg? Either way, the question is what came first, the chicken or the egg, not what came first, the chicken or the egg laid by a chicken, because that would obviously answer itself. An egg is defined as an oval or round object laid by a female bird, reptile, fish, or invertebrate, usually containing a developing embryo. By that definition, the first chicken undoubtedly came from an egg. And that egg came from a bird of a slightly varying species, not known to us as chickens. That bird in turn came from an egg of its own, which, if we are to believe what we know from evolution, descended from a whole other species of bird. Eventually, after the first chicken was born, it would have gone on to breed with pre chickens passing down its gene to create even more chickens. The better adapted chickens would have gone on to survive, while what came before would eventually go extinct. While it feels that we have reached a conclusion, one must muse how the process of egg birthing ever came to be. Game over, man! Game over! Of course, creationists will say that God put the first chicken on Earth, which then began the process of replicating itself by laying an egg. For me, 
What we know from scientific discovery casts some shadow on that. We know that dinosaurs existed as we have found many of their bones which carbon date back millions and millions of years. Indeed, we have also found dinosaur eggs. We also know that dinosaurs were likely to be the first creatures to lay an egg, with bird like creatures evolving over the years to finally create the pre chicken, which laid an egg containing the first chicken as we know it. It's a tough question as the time scale involved is many millions of years and of course it's likely to be the first chicken born was not like the chicken we know today. By that logic our chicken today is probably very unlike the chickens of Aristotle's time. Life on earth is continually evolving and adapting to become the best version of itself it can be. So in answer to the age old question, what came first the chicken or the egg, we have to conclude that the egg did. However, the real question is where did the first ever egg come from? Was it birthed? If so, what creature birthed it? How did that creature come into existence itself? Well, that is a different question for a whole other episode of Life's Biggest Questions. So while that was some really, really mind boggling stuff, I for one am just thinking and thinking and thinking and that is the purpose of this channel. Did you guys enjoy this episode? I know that this is a very fast topic and it is near on impossible to cover every aspect in one video, so if you have anything to add, please do so in the comments section down below. I'm Rebecca Felgate, this has been Life's Biggest Questions, please hit that subscribe button and and stay tuned for more big answers. I will see you next time.